This is a great trick if you're performing for an audience or a handful of people, you wanna involve everybody in the trick. But I'm really teaching a utility move you can adapt to many other tricks. So I don't suggest just copying the trick I'm doing here. Use the utility move to create something new that's your own. So you're gonna hand out little pieces of paper to the audience and pens. You're gonna ask them to write down any number on the paper that they want. It could be two digits, it could be 10 digits, as many numbers as they want, just write a number on this piece of paper. I'll give them an example, I'll write a number on a piece of paper like this. I'm gonna tell them to fold it up into a couple of pieces as small as they wanna fold it, it's completely up to them. I'm gonna pass a bag around and ask them to toss their number into this paper bag. The bag is going to be a regular brown paper bag that can inspect inside and pass it around the audience and they'll put their papers in. So I've written a bunch of these. And I'll just put them in here. Once the bag makes it back to the stage, I'll show them inside. They can see all the numbers. I'm going to mix them up. And I'm going to reach in and I'm going to grab one number out of the bag in a second. First, I want to show them there's nothing in my hand. But the numbers are in there. I'm going to reach in and I'm going to mix them up. I'll pull one number out. we got one paper here. Let's see what it says on it. It's got a single number, uh, 359. 427 359 427. I happen to have some cards sitting on the table and they've been here this entire time. And I would show them 359 427. I just happen to have these cards 359 427. That's the basic idea of the trick, but this can be used to predict anything. It doesn't have to be a number, be a name, favorite car. They can name famous actors, and you can make the ending be exactly what you want. And the secret is so simple, it's almost embarrassing. Begin by writing whatever you want to predict on one piece of paper. You're going to fold that in half, and fold it in half again, and then you're going to put it inside of your trusty old fake thumb tip. No one's ever going to expect this because they think of thumb tips as a way to make a silk appear or something else. No one uses a thumb tip like this, so they're never going to expect it. So the paper goes inside the thumb tip, which could be in your pocket or under the table if you're sitting down. You're not going to grab that until after all the work is done. When the bag is making its way back to you, you're just gonna slip your thumb tip on. No one's gonna see you do that because they're focused on the bag. And you'll hold the bag from the back, so your thumb tip is hidden here. No one's ever gonna notice that. Now you can literally show them inside the bag with your thumb on. They're never gonna look there because they're looking inside the bag. Then, with your other hand, you're gonna hold the bag from the bottom. You tell them, look, now I'm gonna reach into the bag and grab a number out. When I say that, I'm taking the thumb tip and I'm gonna grab it with my other fingers and just hold it in the corner of the bag. Almost like I just forgot, I'm gonna say, oh, my hand is empty. I'm just gonna reach in the bag and grab a random one. I'm gonna pretend that I'm mixing them up. What I'm actually doing is taking the thumb tip and with my index finger, I'm just pulling that paper out, dropping the thumb tip at the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna put the bag away. And when I open this up, it's obviously gonna have the prediction that I want. 